dear students, today we will discuss the deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is a valid form of proof. It is a fact the way in which geometric proofs are written. It is the process by which a person makes conclusion based on previously known facts. Deductive reasoning follows the laws of syllogism that is, if P implies Q and Q implies R, then P implies R. So, parts of deductive reasoning is a hypothesis. Hypothesis is the statement which is accepted or known at the beginning. And conclusion is also parts of deductive reasoning. Conclusion is the statements drawn from the hypothesis. So let us have an example. If a quadrilateral has four right angles, then it is a rectangle. Why? A square has four right angles. Letter Z. A square is a rectangle. That is, P implies Q and Q implies R, then P implies R. The, arg the arguments above is an example of a syllogism, wherein statement X is called a general statement, Y is called the particular statement, and Z is called the conclusion. In this syllogism, the reasoning comes from a statement about a general set to a statement about particular member or element of the set. Let us have another examples. Here are more examples of the doctor reasoning. If you quit smoking, then you save your lungs. So, again, it is a general statement. Tom has quit smoking. Z is Tom save his lungs. Remember, X is the general statement. And Y is a particular statement. And Z is called the conclusion. Right? If you quit smoking, then you save your lungs. So, if Tom quit smoking, in conclusion, Tom, he saves his lungs. Another example. Diligent students do their homework well. Ben and Betty are diligent students. So this is the general statements and this is the particular statements. And for the conclusion, letter Z, if Ben and Betty do their homework well. So this is the conclusion. Another examples. Coplanar points are points on the same plane. So, this is the general statement. X, Y, Z are complainer. This is a particular statement. And for conclusions, X, Y, Z are on the same plane. Did you get it? Another example. Filipinos are a peace-loving. A general statement. And then a particular statement. Julia is a Filipino. For the conclusion, Julia is a peace-loving people. Okay, use deductive reasoning to complete the following syllogism. Number one, for the general statement, most Chinese are good in math. For particular statement, Mark is Chinese. So write your answer in a piece of paper. Number two, Right angles are congruent for the general statements. For the particular statements, angles A and B are right angles. And for the conclusion, write your answer. Number three, senators are lawmakers. Mr. Francis is a senator. Write your answer for the conclusion. And number four, a regular polygon is equilateral. Belen is a regular pentagon. Write your answer for the conclusion and we will check your answer. So for letter Z, number one, Mark is good in math. Number two, angles A and B are congruent. 
Number three, Mr. Francis is a lawmaker. And number four, Belen is a equilateral. Thanks for watching.